Are you ready to be in top form? You're about to enjoy and be transformed by some killer life and business hacks that we've designed to improve everything from your marketing and management to your fitness, health, lifestyle, and even your travel. You're going to be looking good. Come and get it. Welcome, everybody. I'm Dave Fries. Sam Sikdar. You're in top form here today. Thanks for joining us. Sam, we are here as part of a sequence or a series of shows we're doing on the um, client, patient, customer life cycle. Yep. And uh, for those of you who are just uh, joining us, there have been a series of these where we gave an overview, start to finish, if you will, but right. it's kind of a circular cycle. And how, by l- learning this and understanding it, you can really increase your own positive experience as well as yep. optimizing the experience of the client, customer, patient, and really drive more profit from it too. We broke it down to, to a show on uh, awareness, one on rapport, mm-hmm. using education to build rapport and trust, then indoctrination to build trust and to sort of sift through uh, prospects. Tr- and in the last show, how we trigger purchase and trigger upsell, upsell. and multiple upsells yeah. to really improve margin yeah. and client customer mm-hmm. satisfaction and experience. So now we're on education as a driver of consumption Mm -hmm. and then what we do to uh, improve retention, whether we're in a subscriber membership business or something else. So let's take those topics one at a time, even though, again, you can't separate these out. Yeah. When you're educating and improving consumption, you're improving the client customer patient experience and that's going to affect retention. So tell us a little bit about what you do or how you view consumption and why it's important absolutely so i'm actually going to start with retention okay in the sense that uh because predominantly we are a membership based subscription based business so the longer we can retain a customer you know it's just better for us in all ways the total revenue lifetime value but also our margins just keep getting better and better the longer someone stays with us and the way we retain customers is by them using our product and service. Which is what we mean by consumption. Which is what we mean by consumption. So fundamentally, if, you know, in the in the gym business, if a person or their children are not regularly attending, mm-hmm. they are more likely to cancel their membership. And uh, there's probably a point at which if they attend at least this often, yeah, the, there's a hockey stick effect the likelihood that they're going to stay soars. Correct. So there's there's a, there's a couple things there in terms of consumption that we look at. One, as sort of on the negative side of things, if their attendance starts to drop off below a certain frequency, we know that person's in danger. Mm-hmm. So then we need to go to that education piece and say like, hey, here's why you really need to be consistently getting here twice a week. Remember when you signed up, these were the goals that you had and why you started yourself or your child hey, let's keep that going, all skills are perishable, whatever the reasons we may give are, and sort of start re, uh, re-indoctrinating them, re-educating them on why they started in the first place, what the benefits we are offering to get them back into that higher uh, consumption mode. And I guess probably reconnecting with them, too, mm-hmm. since it's a personal business, and finding out what's changed for them. Yes, and is there a way to address that? Because it's so mm-hmm. important for them to have this experience. Yeah. Uh, so retention is, is is a function of consumption here. The, not for necessarily a, for the a, more you get to them to consume, but at least at a certain level. Yes, it, it, it really is. And then we also know, so one is the frequency of consumption and the other is the duration of consumption. So there are certain you know time-based thresholds that we know if we, they cross them, they're much likely to stay longer and longer. All of this is, underlying all of this, is implying that you pay attention to this. Yes. You so you have, you have, have attendance to... cards or how are you finding this out? Yeah, I mean, this is, now we're at the point this is all automated. Mm-hmm. So they, they come in, they electronically take their own attendance. It's all tracked in our database. I get alerts. The team gets alerts. So if they somebody starts auto- to fall off, they get an alert. They automatically mm. get, start to get some additional communication from us. Um, there are also things built into the system just naturally with martial arts. Now, you know, that sounds expensive. Is that done through Infusion in your case or using uh, a We different... use a, a, an industry-specific proprietary mm-hmm. software that does all of this. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, our cost is for that software is pretty minimal if you think about the, the, benefits the of benefit it. of it. Yeah. Well, that's just it. You'll hear Sam and me say a lot of times, well, my cost for this is next to nothing. 
and it may be thousands to tens of thousands of dollars, but we're saying it's next to nothing because of the effect that it has. Yeah. On well, yeah. If I just threw out a number and said it costs us a thousand dollars a month, right? That right. There, that's uh, you know basically five clients. Right. Exactly. So if it's performing on the, just their monthly recurring bill, not their total value even, and it's automating something yeah. that you might have a very hard time manually even paying attention. Exactly. To. So. Uh, in, in, so you've given us an excellent example, it, 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 but it could be applied to any manner of things. Like yeah. So rather than talk about the law office, let me talk about the membership program, yeah. which is Business Black Ops. It happens to be the sponsor of the show today. Oh, interesting. So Is there a number that they can call? They could. If you're interested in becoming a member of Business Black yeah. Ops and receiving the intelligence briefing, which every month gives you just about as much as you can take of strategy, tactics, Swipe files, some very cool stuff. It's alerting you to things. Like, for example, right now, we're in a series of articles taking a declassified PSYOPs mm -hmm. manual that the military and intelligence services produced. And how do you apply it ethically and appropriately to, you know, to, uh, to create all these force multipliers that are going to drive profits yeah. and client, customer, patient satisfaction. So if you're interested in that, um, there's a monthly subscription and then there's a monthly subscription that gives you access to coaching yep. and free access, by the way, to a $2,995 event, which is awesome. And then there's a warlord status, which is, you know, even more expensive or not. I think everybody that's doing it is experiencing, again, kind of the effect of your software, yeah. which is I'm spending this. I'm getting a multiple of that. Mm -hmm. And if they're not, I think that anybody that's not doing that would say that's probably because I'm not doing what I'm supposed to do. Exactly. Doing. But you just dial 610-933-8069, ask for Lisa, she'll walk you through whether this is for you or not or whether it makes sense. But let's use Business Black Ops as an example. Um, I don't want people to get this 60 or 70 page briefing or 30 pages mm -hmm. and say it's too much. Right. So there are a number of things we do, like there's a shorter tactical version of it in each month. Yep. So even if you don't want to read all of the other stuff, which we strongly encourage you to do. And then I have coaching calls that follow up on those themes. So even if you haven't had a chance to read it, if you can hop on a call for an mm -hmm. hour. And then we have this live event. So there are all of these ways. So there's multiple ways for people to consume your product. Mm -hmm. And they're overlapping, but not entirely. Right. So if you listen to the call, you're not going to get everything that you get in the mm -hmm. um, uh, newsletter. If you simply read the newsletter, you're going to get some stuff that you're not going to get in the call, but yeah. you're not going to get everything there. There's also typically a video lesson. You've probably seen these where I mm -hmm. take a really successful direct mail piece or marketing piece of some kind, and we do a video where we break it down. Yeah. Well, not everybody watches that, but they could go in through the membership site and get that if they want to. Not everybody's going to read a declassified 400-page PSYOPs manual, but if you want to get most important parts out of it, along with my analysis of it, you'll go read the, the, uh, the article yeah. that breaks it down. Yeah. So there are lots of ways that we encourage consumption because, again, if somebody gets to the end of the year, by the way, I think there are people that probably don't read it but want to come to that event because it triggers so much for right. them. They do a deal with somebody that's there. They meet somebody and they're in a mastermind with somebody that's there, just the mastermind that takes mm -hmm. place there. They go out into the desert or the Scottsdale Gun Club and shoot guns or they learn how to escape yeah. from a trunk or whatever it might be. That has so much value for them that it doesn't matter. Well, yeah, I think you're, you're touching on a, a bunch of different things. Is Whatever you're offering is, if you were selling to a different group of people, you wouldn't be doing a 60-page newsletter. Correct. Right? So it's understanding who you're selling to and how they want to consume what you're providing, doing it on the right channel, on the right yes. medium. And you know that there's this sort of multi-circle Venn diagram of how people want, you know, the, the business black ops members of how they want to consume information. Some of it's written, some of it's uh, over video. Interestingly, it's, most of them want it in multiple channels. Th this particular group. This group, yes. Right. But what I'm saying is the group that you guys might be selling to might not want it on all of these different channels. Yeah, if you're that hearing were, that and yeah. thinking, God, that would be exhausting and right. overwhelming, fine. Yeah. You could pick one. I mean, there is a route for people to get the the you know, the real nuggets. Yeah. Um, but that's not who this 
group is predominantly exactly. but male. that what I'm saying is understanding what you know how your reader wants to read mm -hmm. so to speak mm -hmm. uh, and then the other thing that you know this goes to the retention piece of it is there's there's so much value there there's a high pain of disconnect yes so one is we need to educate and consume people or educate people on the importance of consumption whether it's for duration or frequency but the other is especially for membership subscription type services on the retention side the positive is yes they're using it and they're getting all of this value sort of a negative way of, of, of framing it is there's a high pain of disconnect mm -hmm. but that's good the other thing is in every issue, we're telling them how to consume it in ways they haven't yep. thought of. So we have examples from other members of how they used it. We're telling them, if you're not using it for this purpose, you're crazy. If you've got a marketing manager, you should be giving this to your mm -hmm. marketing manager and having them come up with an yeah. action item or two. If you're doing sales training, at least one sales training meeting a month, you should be using this yeah. particular thing to guide it. So we are constantly, through multiple channels, providing them the information and providing them with additional reasons that we know will resonate with them, yeah. know who's buying from mm -hmm. you, in how they should be doing it. Because that ramps up the pain of disconnect. When, uh, you know, if, if there are four ways they're using this, then stopping is going to stop all four yeah. ways that they're using it. Yeah. So very, very astute, nuanced observation. So uh, the, the question always comes up, but I think you've answered it in advance. Why spend time, money, energy thinking about that? Well, first of all, it typically isn't expensive. In the newsletter, I have an opportunity to communicate with them in these different ways at, with no additional cost. Right. So if I have a six-point checklist of how they should be using it one month and then a little article on how someone got a result using it, yeah. which is also driving consumption, it's not really adding much cost to me, mm -hmm. but it's highly, highly effective. But underlying why we're really encouraging consumption is it's going to enhance the client customer experience. There are people who buy, and the mere act of buying is very satisfying to them. And they'll yes. tell people, like, I bought this thing and it was oh, awesome, yeah. even though they've never used right. it. But for most people, the real experience comes if you can trigger them to use it and get the benefits from it. Yeah. And then to recognize, don't be afraid of telling people this. We assume when we trigger a positive result for somebody that they're going to connect it back to us. But I know people can read this. I've had people tell me, I had this idea from somewhere and I did X, Y, and Z. Yeah, you read it three months ago in yeah. this thing. Yeah. That is actually where it yeah. came from. Because they're on page 52. <laughs> and they're, they're describing to me exactly how to implement it. Yeah. It's because I didn't make it memorable enough that mm -hmm. I provided that. Yeah. So I could either be shy about that or say, I think I might have an idea for you. Let's go back and look at page 52. And by the way, you've done X, Y, and Z. Could we improve that by doing this other thing yeah. that's in here? Now somebody goes, damn. That is where I got it. It's good. And so there's an yeah. association there. So don't assume that they're going to use it. Mm -hmm. Don't assume that if they do use it, they're going to use it properly. Don't assume that even if they use it properly, it can't be optimized a little more. Don't assume they'll link it back to you. Yeah. Be prepared. Now, your mom might not like this because my mom used to say, like, you're not supposed to brag, right? You're mm -hmm, not supposed to take mm -hmm. credit. We're not taking credit here. We're a catalyst. They're doing yeah. it. But let's show them where they got the information what they were doing, if that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, and that's just helping them serve them better in the future because they'll know where to go to get more, more of it. Exactly. So ultimately, education that drives consumption is designed to radically improve the client, patient, or customer yeah. experience. And that's going to create retention, which boosts profitability because mm -hmm. the longer they stay and the more often they buy. And that's what's going to be in the next show, which is how do we trigger them to repurchase from us, mm -hmm. which can mean buy more of the same or buy new and more stuff. Yeah. And how do we trigger them to be an advocate for us and or make direct referral? Right. So all of this consumption is designed to improve the quality of the experience lengthen the retention, and trigger what we're about to get to in our final show in yeah. this series. Um, by the way, you've said repeatedly, know your customer, and the more you know them, the more you know how to encourage yeah. consumption because you have insight into them. Uh, just another benefit we're going to give, if anybody does want to call Lisa and get more information on Business Black Ops, 
we're offering a copy of the I Help exercise mm -hmm. and some resources to help them get to know that better. And we're also giving a tactical pen, sir. So if you could describe that for the listeners rather than so the viewers. tactical pen, number one is a pen. Mm -hmm. Let's not forget so, that. Right. It, could make it is a functioning pen, right? You could bind that with a piece of paper that you carry with you, yeah. and you just capture it one. It will pay for at least one year. How many times? Clients. Oh, <laughs> there's no question about that. How many times? Well, I, I like to say, if I have a delivered in each issue enough to make... Pay for the entire year, at, at least. At least, at if least. not some, multiple. I mean, we talked about it, and you know, I shared just you know that newsletter. I did a, a one-day event with you. The amount of money that that has returned is, I mean... It's amazing. I it's love amazing. hearing that, too. Yeah. I even published, by the way, I don't know if you noticed this or not. I did. I d visually took a social media post that yeah. you made, which was fantastic, and republished it in the newsletter, in case they didn't see it on social yeah. media, which we can't assume. Right. And then I wrote about it in case they just... But then also, the, going back to what we were just talking about, this idea of them not remembering yeah. where they got the idea. So if you see something in a social media uh feed mm -hmm. and say oh Sam posted this thing he got this idea and made a bunch of money that's they think it's from Facebook right right, right. <laughs> but then when they get it in your print newsletter it reminds them it jogs that memory oh Sam posted that in the BBO group mm -hmm. because he got it from Dave event so it's 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 a good opportunity to reconnect that information so you're going to get the I help exercise you get a free month of the uh, intelligence briefing and you can get a tactical pen, pen when you subscribe. Yeah. Now, we're not going to send you, but this is how selfish we are. We're not going to send the tactical pen until they pay us the money for the first sure. issue. But if you, you were, because we're going to bribe you with all this other stuff. Yeah. But if you hang in there and pay for a month, you're getting that thing. Yeah. Along yeah. with some training from you and me. That's right. It can be used to defend yourself. I, so BBO could save your life. 610-933-8069. Lisa Snyder could save your life. Yeah. Just, just ask for her. And we're going to need this from all the heckling she's going to get. Exactly right. So, I'm Dave Fries. Sam Sikdar. You've been in top form. Join us for the next show.